Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussLPTI.com. Just finished here in the gym today and I want to uh, clear a few, a few moments just to have a sit down and chat with you guys and girls about something um, which hopefully is going to help you get a good workout today. As a fitness instructor, as a personal trainer, I'm always asking people over in my gym or online about abs. You know, people see the, the pictures of, for instance, I posted one the other day on either my Facebook or my Twitter of my abs and people were asking what do I do, you know, because they see the, the old pictures from me about two years ago where I was a lot bigger and I was going for that whole, you know, big personal trainer, let's get massive type of thing and it never really suited me but I was pushing 100 kilos, which is well over 200 pounds. Um, I didn't like that whole look and then people see me these days and I'm sort of right down to 74, 75 kilos, I'm a lot fitter, a lot faster. And, Obviously, you can see the, the progress and the abs coming through as well, and, and the definition there. And people were asking, you know, what talk, sort of routine would I do? So today I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to show you a, a quick sample routine. Um, as you'll know, if you've been following the circuits on our channel, you know what? There ain't no big secret to a good workout for, for your midsection, for your core. Um, my workouts are basic, quick, brutal, <laughs> but ultimately effective. You're going to, you're going to feel this, and it, it takes no longer than five minutes, guys. Um, the, the changing point with me was back in, I think the back end of 2010, or maybe the start of 2011, I took six months off work to look after my young son, and you know, being a full-time dad, didn't have access to go run off to the gym and do big sessions anymore, so I decided I was going to use what little time I had available. Um, like, for instance, when he went for a nap on his afternoon, um, on the afternoon he would go for a nap for about 20 minutes, half an hour, I'd use that time, you know, if you're a busy parent, you gotta, you really got to appreciate the little breaks like that. And the other parents, I'm sure you're going to agree. And I would use that time to get fitness in. You don't have time to do a big heavy session. And what that did was allow me to use body weight circuits and stuff like that. And before I knew it, the fat will just drop off you. And then I'll, after we've done it today, I'm going to show you a few other things I did with my diet. Maybe help you guys out in that respect. Uh, but the actual workout was very simple. Um, We've posted a few already like this on our channel, so if you've done those, you've probably done all the moves you're going to do today. It's just the combination of putting, um, I think we've got three moves today, yeah? And it's not only going to hit your abs, but it's going to work the muscles around it, so it's going to give you a stronger core, um, work all the stabilizing muscles, and just generally improve your fitness on every exercise you do, okay? Um, like I say, this will only take five minutes, so if you want to clear up about six feet of space, you guys can run through this with me right now if you want. The only equipment you need, stopwatch, or if you haven't got one, set your laptop up, go on a website like onlinestopwatch.com, press start. Simple as that, no excuse, right? Excuses don't make themselves, I always say. Um, so we're going to grab a stopwatch, we're going to go through the workouts. If you don't have five minutes, turning into a catchphrase this one, if you don't have five minutes, you know what I'm going to say. You got some problems in your life. <laughs> now you need to sort your life out, but if you don't have five minutes to look after yourself, it's all right. So you know, fit this in anywhere. You can do this in your lunch break, in the morning before you get the kids up, do it on the night time, wherever you can fit it in. It's effective. Okay, it works no matter what time of the day you're going to do it. Um, if you guys are ready to go, let's get started. All right, guys, you ready to get started? I'm pretty exhausted from my, my workout already. I don't know if I've got this in the tank. <laughs> I'm only joking. The three moves we're going to combine it, they are three of my favorites. We've got mountain climbers, absolute beasts. We're then going to move into elbow to knee crunches, which is crunches with your knees up at 90 degree angle. Um, and then finally, we're going to move into an elevated plank position, okay? Uh, we're going to do 30 seconds of each. Three rounds if you can, so that'll take you four and a half to five minutes maximum. Try to have no rest in between each round if you can other than transitioning between the movements. Um, I'll show you a way of making each one harder or easier, depending on your ability, or you can just do the workout as I do it today. But really with bodyweight circuits, you know, as you'll know, if you've been doing our workouts already, I know some of you, particularly the ladies, love those workouts and you've been getting great fat loss results. There's literally, as you'll know, unlimited possibilities with exercises. So we always encourage you to change things up. This one today is one of my personal favorites. So, if you guys are ready to go, grab your stopwatch or whatever equipment you're using to keep time. We're going to start with mountain climbers, alright? You guys ready? If you never performed these before, just watch. Very simple exercise to do. We've got our hands here in almost a push-up position. And we're just going to concentrate on bringing one knee forward, kicking it back, bringing the other one forward. 
Try to bring your knees up to your chest, okay? Alright, so we've got 30 seconds. The key here is intensity. You don't need to burn yourself out. It's about getting quality reps out. There isn't a target number of reps. So we're just going to focus on working for the full 30 seconds as hard as you possibly can without using your technique. If you want to make this easier, get your hands up on a little step. Different angle will make it a lot easier. If you want to make it harder, which I'm going to do now, don't let your feet hit the floor at the front of the move. And what that'll do is, we really engage a lot more of your core, make you work a lot harder. So that's 30 seconds, and then we're going to flip straight over. On our backs, crunches, but with our knees elevated. Try to bring your elbow up to your knee. It's difficult to talk, as you can probably see, if you're doing this one right. If you want to make this one easier, keep your feet on the floor. If you want to make it harder on this one, I would suggest turning this into bicycle crunches, um, which would be absolutely brutal in this type of circuit. There we go, with 30 seconds. For the last 30 seconds, we're going to come over into a little plank. I personally prefer using the elevator plank, which would be hands together, triangle shape between your finger, like this. Try to keep it under your shoulders to chest. Take your feet back and try and maintain a straight line from your shoulders right down to your feet. So you're not bringing your bum down, you're not sticking your bum up. Try and stay as straight as you can. Really focus on tensing the muscles in your abs and working your core. If you want to make it easier, we go down on our wrists. If you want to make it even harder, we would get something unstable involved, like an exercise ball, or maybe put our feet up. Some people would even do this with one foot up and alternate feet in between rounds. It's up to you. Okay. Whew. That's one round, guys. How many of those do you think you've got? See if you can do three. That'll give you a five minute workout. I'm going to get back on the bench, uh, run through a couple of the other things. That will go through in today's video, hopefully help you take that workout to an even higher level than it already is at. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. I never really bought into that theory that you hear people doing 3,000 sit-ups a day, uh, 5,000 crunches every morning and night. You just really don't need to do that sort of thing. It's not about how much you do, it's about how effective um, you do it. Okay guys, uh, a few other things I did, obviously the workout itself isn't really going to change your entire lifestyle, you know, that will help you massively to improve your fitness, um, a couple of other aspects you can include in it though as well, you know, um, quite a long time ago now, I, when I first started doing this page, I posted four uh, home cardio style workouts that I would use at home and that's since been favourites over at the gym for people looking to lose weight fast, like, you know, models or people who do it for the job, lose weight in like a month or two months, um, at home, or people who are trying to get back into fitness but don't want to go back to the gym yet, they want to build up their confidence, get back in a bit of shape at home first, and that video was a bit of a hit here on uh, YouTube when we did that, a lot of people were sending us messages saying they, they like that style, so feel free to use that video, um, sometimes what I would do is I would do that, and this, just fit it into your day whenever you can really. Um, and also one of the other things I would do when I was trying to drop fat, as your day progresses I would always watch how many carbs you're eating. That's, you know, there's a, a bit of a myth that you shouldn't eat carbs after 7 o'clock or after 8 o'clock. Really it, it depends what your life after 8 o'clock is like. You know, if you're quite active you don't have to worry about it, but the generalisation that people make is simply because they want to have one term, one sweeping stereotype usually because a lot of people are inactive after that time of day. If you find that that's you, which it was with me, after 8 o'clock at night I used to just sit there watching TV or watching a film, um, tired off the day with, with my son, so try and cook your carb intake with that so I wasn't storing as much fat um, while I was pretty inactive during the night. Um, also, you know what, something I always used to neglect, plenty of water, plenty of water. Um, it's, it, we're told to drink it for a reason, uh, that's something which I always used to forget to do, but hopefully this workout has helped you and you've enjoyed it. You know, you can uh, catch me on Facebook or Twitter or here on YouTube if you want to ask any questions. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to have to go and take a shower. We've just done leg day and uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, 
coming through my t-shirt, you know, I'm going to have to go get sorted out before I've got a long pick junior up from school. So, hope today's workout was fun. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. Fantastic for men and women if you're just looking to lose some fat. And like I say, you can do this anyway. So, with a five minute session like that, with the results that are going to be high, which, have a look at my picture on Facebook and you, or Twitter, wherever it was, and you can see what it did for me um, and I've managed to maintain it. Um, like I say, if you've got five minutes to work out, you can reevaluate just how badly you want to get in good shape in the first place. Uh, <laughs> excuses don't make themselves, right? Um, anyway, I've got to go, guys. It's been fun talking to you. More to come from me in the next couple of weeks. Bye bye.